The NBA All-Star break is all well and fun, but now that all the events are over and I've been seeing a lot of Boston Celtics enjoying their time off, I'm ready for Boston Celtics basketball, and more importantly, I'm ready for watch parties to start again so I can talk with the fans of Celtics today. So if you guys are ready for Boston Celtics basketball tomorrow night, all you have to do is like this video. Boston Celtics fans have been a huge fan of Jason Tatum, rightfully so, since he came to Boston in 2017. However, Jason Tatum is now making a name for himself, not just in Boston, but throughout the NBA, which is exactly what we're going to dissect here on Celtics Today by Chat Sports. I am your host, Ali Barefoot, and Jason Tatum finally has come to the realization that he's him. Last year, he said Giannis was the best player in the NBA. Now Jason Tatum recently sat down with ESPN's Malika Andrews, and he said, I'm the best player in the NBA. And I don't disagree with him. Jason Tatum went on in this interview talking about what the Boston Celtics need to win Banner 18, but he also touched on the fact that he could be the next face of the NBA. And if anybody's wondering who's the face is right now, it's LeBron James. It has been for probably a decade now. Before that, I would say it was Michael Jordan. But now we're kind of getting to that point where father time is catching up with LeBron James, Steph Curry, and the other players that have really shaped, you know, at least my childhood. So could Jason Tatum be the next face of the NBA while well, he's still in his 20s? Here's why I think it could be possible. He has an excellent media presence. I never see a picture of Jason Tatum that doesn't have Deuce along with him. He's on vacation right now for the NBA All-Star break, and I just saw him post so many pictures with Deuce. He's his right-hand man. He's in numerous co commercials, including on bags of chips in the gas stations. He just overall stays out of the drama. He's also leading a legacy franchise. And this is not a franchise that's losing or has lost or will lose. Jason Tatum is the face of a very good franchise in the NBA, and he's currently contesting for his first MVP award. But if it's not going to be Jason Tatum, I actually put this up on our community tab of the Celtics Today channel because I wanted to ask you guys first and foremost, the possible new faces of the NBA, in my opinion, are these three players. Jason Tatum, Luka Doncic, and Victor Wimbanyama. Why? Because Victor has had one of the biggest buzzes around a new player in the NBA since I would say LeBron James. Doncic has taken the NBA by storm as an international player, and Jason Tatum is consistently proving why. He is one of the best players in the NBA. The reason why we don't have a 29-year-old Giannis is because I think Giannis' prime was three years ago when they won the finals. The reason why we don't have the Joker is because he doesn't want to be the face of the NBA. He wants to play with his horses and get that bag, which respectfully, you do your thing. But Jason Tatum did have a direct quote to Malika Andrews, and he said, look, I feel like it's mine to take. I do feel like if we win a championship, it would be more distinguished and clear that he would be the face of the NBA. But I understand that I'm in the short list for sure. The fact that Jason Tatum even knows he's in this realm of possibly the top three players who could be the next face of the NBA means he knows what he's capable of on the court. Jason Tatum is already the face of the Boston Celtics. You ask any person who lives in the state of Massachusetts, you know who Jason Tatum is. It's almost like a big poppy with the Boston Red Sox in the last decade. Jason Tatum has become him and he has rightfully deserved it. Since the 2017 draft, he's played in the Eastern Conference Finals, excuse me, at least the Eastern Conference Finals four times in the past six seasons. He's a five-time NBA All-Star, and he was a recent, not this year, but last year, NBA All-Star MVP. And he was third in the 2023 overall MVP NBA voting. Jason Tatum is only 27 years old. He is currently dominating in the NBA, and I truly do think he could be the face of the NBA in just a few short years. But that's just my opinion, you know? That's why we have Celtics today. I talk, I show you some stats. You guys give me your conversation as well in the comment section. Go on ahead and drop your answers down below. Type zero, Jason Tatum's number, if you do agree that Tatum could be the next face of the NBA. We're going to break down what Jason Tatum can do in order to be the best player in the NBA, maybe not this year, but in the future and possibly make the Boston Celtics the best team in the NBA for years 
to come. Before we dive into that, let's go on ahead and break down our sponsor here on Celtics today. If you guys saw me in the beginning of this video, I am itching for NBA basketball to come back, but I'm more importantly itching to play prize picks one more time in their NBA selection. Thankfully, they do have numerous sports options to choose from. So it's not just NBA. They've got NHL going on right now. They've got golf going on right now. I think uh, one of my producers, Jack, was playing Call of Duty prize picks the other day. That's obviously not my jam, but if it's y'all's, all you guys have to do is go to prizepicks.com and just pick between two to six players and pick more or less on their projected stats. And, of course, I do already have my picks locked in for tomorrow night's game. I have Chris Stapps Porzingis having more than 19 points. I think the Unicorn will come out and do his thing. But I love me some Nick Claxton. I think he's one of the best rim protectors in the NBA. So why not go on ahead and give him double-digit rebounds? I'll take the more. I think life's too short. I always take the more. All you guys have to do is go to prizepicks.com slash CLNS. Use promo code CLNS for a first-time deposit match up to $100 and watch yourself win some real money in real time. You got to think, Jason Tatum is 25 years old right now. You want a reference? I'm 25 years old. Guess what I'm not doing? I'm not leading the Boston Celtics to finals appearances, to Eastern Conference finals appearances, and the playoffs year after year. But here's the thing. Jason Tatum, unfortunately, needed to lose the NBA Finals to the Golden State Warriors a couple years ago. And I don't want them to. I never want them to make it that far and obviously lose because I am a fan of the Boston Celtics. But I think the Jason Tatum that has developed since he lost the finals is what this franchise needed, along with maybe Chris Stapp's Porzingis. But we're going to go ahead and break down what Jason Tatum had to say about losing the finals. He said, look, it's just about trusting that it's going to come back. It's going to get my shots. I'm going to get my points. It's just about trusting the process. It's tough when you're younger. Like I said, 25 years old, guys. You just want everything to happen so fast and how you want it to happen. But it just doesn't work like that. My mom has always told me fair shouldn't even be in my vocabulary because who told you life was going to be fair? Jason Tatum has defied odds time and time again, and he's even lost the NBA Finals, which was obviously not on his bingo card for the year 2022, but he needed to get there and see how quickly it can be taken away. Jason Tatum is constantly improving his game and improving the record books for the Boston Celtics. Jason Tatum has scored 40-plus points in over 25 games in his career. The only other Boston Celtic to do that is Larry Bird with 47. And I'm not going to be that young generation person that's like, well, if you look at how the NBA players play today and how they did when Larry Bird played, it's a very different conversation. But I'm just saying these are two greats, and they're going to be greats, and Jason Tatum is not slowing down. But they do need help. Everybody needs help. Do you think Steph Curry could have gone on the decade-long franchise history that he's had with the Golden State Warriors if he didn't have somebody like a Splash Brother in Clay Thompson or a Draymond Green or an Iggy or somebody like that? No. Jason Tatum needs Jalen Brown, Chris Stapps Porzingis, Derek White, Drew Holiday, Al Horford. I couldn't fit all the names down here on my lower third, but you guys get the point. Here's the reason why. Jason Tatum said, it's been two years. We're a completely, completely different organization since the last time we went to the finals. Noah Dalzel, who I absolutely adore her reporting, Jason Tatum says this Celtics team is better than that finals team. I fully agree. And they even had Marcus Smart on that team as well. I'm better than I was two years ago. JB is better. KP makes all the difference in the world. If you told me Chris Dad's Porzingis would make the difference on the Celtics this year, I would have been like, what are you talking about? And obviously, Drew Holiday. The way that Derek White's been playing this year compared to two years ago, it is night and day the way the Boston Celtics as a whole have stepped up to play their best level of basketball in their entire careers. And I fully believe that. If this is going to be the season the Boston Celtics win Banner 18, go on ahead and like that video. I'm liking it because I believe it. And I also believe in the front office. Brad Stevens says he's going to do whatever he possibly can to be sure the Celtics have all the resources they need to win Banner 18, and I think they added Chris Stas Porzingis. I think they added Drew Holiday, but something they added they didn't know was an unreal Jason Tatum with the mentality of a champion. And I'm super excited to see them win Banner 18. And if you guys are too, like the video.